I am doing a pattern. Pa pattern. <laughs> what was that? A pa pattern advent. A pattern advent. Welcome to episode 30 of that Roll On Kate's podcast. I'm finally back. Um, it has been a long time since I last recorded, uh, purely because I was doing the MCAL and I wasn't knitting on anything else that I could share. So I didn't see the point of doing a podcast in between that. Um, since doing the MCAL, uh, there is a lot of new subscribers here. I went up about 600 subscribers doing the MCAL. So hi, <laughs> it's really nice to have you here. Um, but yeah, quite daunting that it just went up so fast. Um, so hopefully you all like this sort of um, section that I do, because this is like a regular thing that I do. Long-term viewers know this. Hello. <laughs> um, so my name is Kelly and um, this is a knitting and designing podcast. I was going to say knitting and stitching. I don't stitch. It's a knitting and designing podcast from the northeast of England. Um, welcome and welcome back if you are returning. It's so lovely to have you back. I had lots of plans for episode 30. I was going to do it live. Um, I was, and if I didn't do it live, I was going to do it as a premiere and all these things I had planned and instead it's just going to be a normal episode but there will be a giveaway in it. The only the reason that it's like a normal episode is because I've been really ill for the last week. I've been meaning to record for a good few days if not weeks actually and just not being able to. Um, we got hit by a bug in our house that was kind of it gave us like a bad cough, but it also made us feel really sick. Um, and so we've all been vomiting, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, just it's just, it's been horrible. It's been really horrible. Um, we're all coming to the tail end of it. We just feel very drained, tired. Um, there was points of it where you just couldn't get warm. I was laid with three jumpers, two pair of trousers, underneath a thick duvet cover in my bed. Like this. <laughs> my partner had to put an electric blanket over the top of me and that got some heat through into me. Um, but yeah, just crazy, crazy illness. So, please excuse any coughing. I will cut it out, um, but you'll see me do this. Um, so please excuse any coughing, any breaks in my voice or whatever because it's quite it's tickly and horrible and sniffing. It's that time of year though, isn't it? So we'll crack on um, with what I've got to show you. Today I'm drinking biscuit tea, which is all Emma from Potter and Bloom's fault. Um, Yorkshire tea do different tea flavours. As far as I'm aware, they currently have three out. One of them is a nighttime one that's really nice that I've had before. It's kind of like, um, I think it's got chamomile in it. And I can't remember, but it's got like nice warming flavours to it. And then they do a, <laughs> a jam and toast one and um, a biscuit one. And I've, al I've always looked at them and thought, ugh. So then, and then I was watching Emma's podcast from Potter and Bloom. And she was talking about biscuit tea, that it's just really lovely and like a warm hug and, and all of this. And I was like, oh, I've got to have to try this now. So I did. And now I'm, I think I'm on my fourth box. This is, so it's biscuit tea. So basically it tastes like tea, but it smells like biscuits. I know that sounds so weird. It's, but it is really nice and it is really comforting. It's just lovely. So that's what I'm drinking. Um, I did buy the jam and toast one as well. 
it's not it's not as great no it's okay i'll get through the box but i won't be buying another box no so biscuit tea it's just tea with milk in so let's start off i'll do some um finished objects because i have two both of them you have seen so um the first one is my ampulate socks i finally got them finished so <coughs> this one's a bit better blocked no this one this one is they're covered in hair okay So ampulate socks were my um, Halloween pattern this year. Not that I have a Halloween pattern everywhere, every year I don't. Um, but this was my offering this year for Halloween. So I kind of have these spiders hanging down from, they come from the they come from the rib and you have the little spiders and each one is different um, the pattern the pattern comes in six sizes and each size has a different pattern um, basically because it was really difficult to write it as one pattern so I had to do six different patterns and write it out six times um, each one has an empty chart for you to fill out so you're able to um create your own where you want your spiders to sit and everything else so yeah so those are finished that i knitted mine in quack yarn um <clears throat> this is her pier walk colorway i haven't worn them yet because i've been i wore them on halloween and then i put them to side to wait for to show you guys so um yeah this is the pure walk colourway. I wanted it to look like there was like splashes of blood. And uh and I think I think that's perfect. So that is my ampulate socks. They are out now, a bit out of season now. But um but unless you really like spiders and just want spiders on your feet all the time, each to their own. But yes, so that's my Halloween socks that were released in uh, early October I think I brought them out that's those done and then the other one or the finished thing I have to share is my MCAL shawl obviously in case you didn't watch the MCAL like vlog thing that I did this is my MCAL shawl I'm never going to fit it on this screen So, I hated knitting this. I really did. Um, if you watch the, the vlog that I did, um, particularly section one, which is this, I hated it so much. And if I wasn't doing the vlog, I would have stopped. Um, so those people who did stop, I completely don't blame them at all. However, um, I was out having coffee with my friend the other day and she said she watched the rest of the MCAL um, vlog that I did and she said oh you're such a hypocrite you liked it in the end and I don't I don't feel like I'm being a hypocrite I hated knitting it I stand by that I would never knit this again in a million years it was awful it was not fun um, I didn't enjoy the knit at all but I do like the finished thing I do um, I didn't go for the long bit, I just put tassels on, hi, <laughs> um, I didn't like that tail bit, but the rest of it I stuck to pattern, I did everything that it said, I love this part of it, with the eye cords going through the cables, um, I do really like it. I've actually gifted it to my mother-in-law. The only reason it's still here is because I asked her if I could keep it while I do this. And then now I've shown you, she can have it. Keep her warm all the winter. 
um not because it's not something i would wear just because she just really loved it um but yeah not a nice knit it really wasn't and um i'm sorry if that's controversial or whatever or if i am being hypocritical because i like it but i do i do like the finished item i do think it looks good i like my colors um i just really really didn't enjoy working on it it just i don't know you'll if you watch the vlog you'll see it just it just wasn't fun it was just very hard work so um yes it's finished <sighs> so we'll go on to some whips now so i'm still knitting a lot of secret stuff so that isn't all I've knit <clears throat> since I last seen you, which was about two months ago, I think. Um, I just have... I've just been knitting so much secret stuff that I can't show you. Um, that that's taken up most of my time. I did get a little bit more work done on my uh, Salty Air Tea. So I've now split split for the sleeve so I put a marker in where you last saw and I am further down so this is still looking a lot lighter on camera than it actually is it's actually a really dark blue it actually gives me a bit of favour that it's lighting it up because um, you can see the pattern a bit better so yeah, the last time I saw you, I was here, and I've since done another repeat, and split for the sleeves. And I'm like this far from the sleeves, look. So it's just the case of going round and round and round now. Um, it is a short sleeved top. I am knitting this in Drops Alpaca. Drops alpaca, there he is, hi. This is, I can't remember the name of the colour word. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, but it is a lot darker than that showing you. It's 100% alpaca. <coughs> it's lovely and soft. However, when I'm knitting, where I wrap my tension around my middle finger, it's actually cutting into my middle finger. So I'm having to, um, not just not just knit on this because it's it's a bit painful but um yeah cracking on with that that's one of my works in progress my other one is over there so my other one is um a new cast on So this was um, yarn that I received from Hobie. I'll um, show you that first. So Hobie sent me some yarn to make um, a top, whatever top I wanted in. Um, I just needed to promote their yarn. So they had a Black Friday sale on. So I chose this yarn. The Highland Wool. This is the Deep Moss colour wear. That's quite accurate there. It's really dark. So I chose this and I've cast on Old School by Vera Valamaki. Which I'm not very far in yet. That's the back there. So, you probably hear my other half upstairs coughing as well. We're all like, <laughs> so I'm not too far in. I haven't split for the sleeves or anything yet. I'm just at. The neck, this work top down. Um, it I'll put a picture of the 
probably that side. I'll put a picture of the pattern up so you can see, but it's like the lace is all over the body rather than just around the yoke. Um, yeah, I haven't had a lot of mojo for knitting and most of the stuff I've been doing is because I have to. This is one of the things that I had to do, um, even though it's for me. <laughs> but I had to promote their yarn, so I had to cast something on and knit with it. And I haven't actually enjoyed it. Um, I expected the pattern to be written a little bit better than it is. It's a little bit vague, especially on measuring sections. You've got to measure, you have to knit something and then, and then knit to a certain length. And it doesn't tell you where to measure that certain length from. So it's a little bit, you've got to guess a little bit in parts. Um, so I was a bit surprised at that, with it being Vera, Vera Vala that. Vera Valamaki. Um, I was a little bit surprised, but, and I'm not really feeling it, but I think it's just because my mojo's really, because I just haven't been well. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with what the pattern will finally look like, and I'm, I'm quite excited to see it grow. I just really need to get on with it. I've kind of put it down for a little few days, and I've been um, working on a couple of secret things that I need to get finished. I'm right at the end of the secret stuff now. I had um, 13, I think, 13 secret projects at one point, possibly more. I possibly counted that after I'd started. I now have three left. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. And I can also soon, very, very soon, share um, the advent shawl that I've been working on for Jess at Skeen and the Stitch. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, that's all I've been working on that I can actually show you. So it's not a lot, um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So I do have some acquisitions to show you. So the first one is another, similar to the Vera Valamaki top that I've got to work on, um, is another Hobby excuse crinkling. It's another hobby, um, sorry my battery ran out. So and yes, I have another hobby um, collaboration. Um, so this is Woody Tweed that I've chosen for this collaboration. remember the colourway. I think it was just white. Um, doesn't say, never does on hobby stuff. But it's 100% um, recycled fibres, so it's 70% recycled wool and 30% recycled viscose. Um, and I need to cast on something with this very soon um, and help promote this yarn. Um, again, it's another, I, I was so lucky to have another sweater quantity gifted to me by Hobie. So um, that'll be another jumper that I'm going to cast on. I'm hoping that I can get the Rococo to work in this. I did try to get Rococo to work in this. Um, the Highland wool. This is 100% wool, by the way, I forgot to say that. Um, and it's a DK. Um, the thing with the Rococo is, um, in the pattern it says it's DK, on Ravelry it says it's worsted. And the gauge is like, kind of like an Aran kind of gauge. It's, so it, I, I was like, mm -hmm. got DK and I couldn't get anywhere close to the gauge, which is why I changed to the Vera Verlamaki top. <clears throat> so this is meant to be an Aran weight, um, it doesn't actually feel like it, it's quite thin. Let me show you them together. This 
it's quite hard. You see, they're quite similar. So, yeah, I'm not 100% if I'm going to get it with this either, so I might be picking something different, but we'll see. So that's plans for that. And then one more acquisition I got um, a few weeks ago was Adventures in Yarn Craft. Um, she'd, Laura from Adventure, uh, Adventures in Yarn Craft has MS and is in a wheelchair. Um, her wheelchair had been stolen from outside her house and she was raising money by doing a sale on yarn to raise money for a new wheelchair. Um, so I bought Buttery Biscuit Base. The sock yarn base is 86% um, superwash merino and 15% nylon. It is so soft, so, so soft. Um, and I absolutely love it. And that is just, oh, I'm quite into my neutrals at the minute. So I'm hoping to do some socks with that very soon. Um, however, <laughs> I am super burnt out with designing. Um, like I've got ideas it's not that I have no ideas I just I don't want to I'm just ugh, at the minute not just because of the illness but because of all the pure amount of stuff that I've had to do over the last couple of months with designing um, the 13 secret projects all had to be designed obviously so it's been quite a strain on the old brain <laughs> and um and in that respect um i'm gonna just take a little step back um obviously today is december the 29th um so we're not even in december yet but i am thinking of just i've got i've got two three designs left to do and the deadlines are mid-December um, but I want to get them done and finished and then I'm just going to have a long break I won't be designing anything until at least January I just need to have a bit of a step back so although I, I have ideas and I really want to design some socks in this um, I'm just, I'm not <laughs> not just yet I just need <laughs> five minutes so, um, yes, that is it. <coughs> <coughs> so, should we do the giveaway? Yes, yes, let's do the giveaway. So, because it's my 30th episode, um, I thought I have to give you something back. You've got me to 30, which is amazing. And there's nearly 2,000 of you. Um, so, it's kind of like a double kind of giveaway. Um, so to win, what you can win, oh god, <laughs> shall I start again? <coughs> <coughs> so in the giveaway, you can win. <laughs> you can win three patterns of your choice from my catalogue. So it's three patterns, any pattern that you want, three of them are yours. And also, I'm giving away two skeins of maple by Blue Fern Yarns. Now, that's not as bright as that, so hang on a minute. It's a bit more of a nutty brown than it's showing on the screen. But there's two of those. Okay, uh, these are Yak 4-ply. They are 70% superwash merino, 20% Yak and 10% nylon. Um, you get 400 metres in the 100 grams. And yes, they're from Shannon at Blue Fern Yarns. So they are to win. Uh, they're in the maple colourway. Two of those, three patterns. So, um... All you need to do 
is tell me your favourite thing about December. That's what I want to know. What's your favourite thing about December? And I will draw the winner in the next episode and then things will progress from there. So that is the giveaway that I just chucked on the floor. Back on there, please. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, yes. So, starting from the 1st of December, um, which is probably tomorrow, after this goes live. I'll probably put this out tomorrow, so it'll be the next day, Thursday. Um, I'm doing a pattern. Pa pattern. <laughs> what was that? A pattern pattern advent a pattern advent where each day will be a pattern revealed <laughs> oh my god a pattern revealed and i'm going to give 24% off that pattern they're all my patterns um i haven't brought anyone else's in just my patterns um you can only get this through my mailing list so i'm going to pop a link below for you to join that i think that whenever you join you should start getting those emails. Um, I do need to double check that, but I'm pretty sure. <coughs> <coughs> I'm pretty sure that if you don't see this until like the 4th of December or something, that if you sign up then, you will get um, patterns from the 5th of December. And the previous ones won't be on offer anymore anyway. They're for one day only each time. So, um, Every day of the advent, 24 patterns, one a day will be um, on offer with a secret special code that you can only get in emails from me. So you have to sign up for the mailing list. Um, and then you'll get 24% off that pattern um, if it's one that you fancy. So yes, that is it. That's all the news I have to tell you for um, pattern side of things. Life news, literally. I was thinking of doing a vlogmas and everything, but I just don't think I can face it. I've just been so rotten and I haven't got a lot of mojo. I've been feeling quite low about um, designing and things like that. I'm not gonna stop, but I just, I think I'm just burnt out and I've been poorly and it just really hasn't helped my head so I think doing vlogmas just I, I just I don't think I can so I'm not going to do vlogmas this year I did think about it um I might do mini little mini vlogs at some point I don't know I don't know see how I feel as, as we go through the month I have got an advent um which was an advent swap I can't see my hair needs cutting, it's getting done on Friday. Look at this. Um, I've done an advent swap with lovely Suzanne, who I swapped with last year. So we've sent each other 24 10 gram scraps, basically, our own scraps. We've done 24 of them, sent them to each other, and we've put little other bits and bobs in there too. So I do have an advent to open. I also got up this morning opened Instagram and I'd won a 14 day advent from Botanical Yards. Last year I won an advent. It's obviously the thing that I win. <laughs> so I'm over the moon with that. Um, and I can't wait to start opening that. So maybe I'll do like little shorts. I might do little shorts of just opening the advent if that's something you might be interested in. Let me know if you'd like to see what I get in my advent because I don't really know I don't really know what else like my vlogmas would be pretty boring I think I was trying to book in lots of things to do <coughs> with the kids but um but there's hardly anything going on that isn't already fully booked and it seemed you had to book in October so sorry for not being prepared for Christmas back in Halloween time Anyway, my tea's freezing. One battery's already run out. It's obviously telling me, shut up, go and edit your video. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you. I can't wait to share 
some of the secret stuff with you. Some of it I can't share till next year, like May, <laughs> because that's magazine stuff. But um, some of it, some of it I can share really soon, probably the next podcast. And I hope to get another podcast in before Christmas anyway. Um, I won't, no, I won't be able to show you it before Christmas. You can see the black and white version, but I can't share you. Share you, show you the advent until it's all out and opened up by the peoples. I'm waffling, I'm gonna go. I'm always waffling. Um, have a lovely uh, next couple of weeks because I'll, and I'm gonna try really hard to, because I've only got three things to knit that I can't show you so and they're little well two of them are so I'm going to try really hard to get some other stuff done and finished and off my needles um we were talking in my discord group this morning about what we're casting on for advent and part of me wants to cast on a sea glass tea um but another part of me is like you're gonna have three jumpers on your needles <laughs> and uh do you really need another one and maybe you should just clear some needles so I think that's what I might try and do, clear some needles over the next few weeks. Um, try and get a bit of mojo coming back in. We'll have to see. Um, you are very, very welcome to join our Discord group. We um, do have little knit nights and things like that on there. And um, there's a lot of just chat in the chat rooms of Discord. Anyway, don't be frightened of Discord. It is just forum like anything else and we're all very welcoming and would show you the ropes so i'll put the link below for discord and um, there's quite a growing community on there and it's lovely and yeah uh that's it <laughs> i'm gonna go so i will see you in a couple of weeks thank you so much for joining me <coughs> <coughs> listen to me prattle on and uh choke on my throat and um i'll see you soon i hope you're well i hope you haven't got anything like this disaster i hope you're lovely fit and healthy and um enjoying your whatever time of year it is where you are because i know some places it's beautiful summer and i'm very jealous so <laughs> i'll see you soon <laughs> bye <laughs>